What's up guys, for today's video we're going to try to start a fire with a hand crank drill, one of these vintage items, these things are amazing, they are so old but still working properly and working smoothly, as you can see, you can go as fast as you can and it's gonna spin really really fast, so I thought why not try to put a stick over here and try to start a fire with it? Because you don't need any electricity. If you have one of these somewhere off grid or in the forest, maybe you're working somewhere and you forgot matches and you want to start a fire, you can still do so with this little thing. Let's see if it works or not. I actually had to sharpen it up a little bit so it would fit in here. Now we're gonna twist it so it would hold together. There you go. I don't think it's going anywhere now. Then I'm gonna just set it up like this and then spin it. I think the whole idea is just to keep it steady. Ah, fail. It broke off. Okay, let's try to stick it in. And now, uh, make it tight. So what I'm gonna do is cut out these notches and then make little dents. I used these ones before. Then I'm going to put my coconut husk down here and my drill gonna go right inside there. And then we're gonna spin it like this. I don't wanna put too much pressure so that way it spins freely. It's not about the pressure, it's about uh, friction. Oh no, look how much smoke we were getting. It almost there, but our stick broke off. You see inside there, it's broke off. So what I'm gonna do is just take off this broken piece from there. And once again, I get my stick and make it a little smaller so that way it fits the drill, just like this, not too small, but the good size, perfect fit, that's what I'm looking for, okay, now we're going to tie it up, so to hold it, again, not too tight, and as you can see with my ankle here, I'm holding the drill all evenly together and putting pressure on here and spinning it like this. Because you see, if it goes back and forth, we're just going to lose the stick. I think it's already broke, yep. There you go. Ah, broke it again. Okay, let's try this one more time. I'm gonna reposition myself a little bit. I'm going to hold it like this, so that way keeping it straight. Is it smoking? Yeah, smoking a little bit. Okay, I think I found a good way to do it. You set it like this, hold it on your shoulder right here, and then hold it steady with this arm and go crazy about it. Also, I have shortened this handle. It used to be way out here. I have shortened it like this. So that way I can go even faster. Look at that friction, look at that smoke. Oh yeah, look at how much it's smoking now. I can go back and forth the other way. Let's see. Yeah, it's smoking really good. That's what we want. Then we're gonna put the stuff into here. And you see, that's what we want. We want it to smoke like this. <laughs> and close it together and blow it. You can even wave it like this. Oh, don't want to lose it though.
waving it it's even better because you get more oxygen oh yeah look how smoky it is now and there you go we got that coconut husk on fire also it's not about too much pressure either you want to have medium speed medium pressure and you just have to keep practicing and you'll figure it out you see not too much pressure we want to get it really really smoky If you press it too hard, you're not gonna have enough friction. If you put medium pressure on it, it can spin really easily and you're going to have a lot of friction. And this side here, you see, we want it to start smoking like that. That's what we're looking for. Once it starts smoking like that, Put it on, onto the coconut husk or something flammable and that way you can get your fire started really easily. Let me show you what happens when you blow it. You see how hot it gets? That little piece what makes fire started. I notice honestly the best way to do it just hold it like this with your knee put it together so that way it's more comfortable it's important to have it tight so you can go really really fast you can also go like that too whatever is comfortable you want to go really really fast like this not too much not too much pressure it's not about pressure it's about the speed. As long as you see smoke, that's enough pressure. Medium pressure, that's what you want. It is tiring still. Look how much smoke we're getting. Smoking, good, good. Get that coconut husk. Let me get closer to you. It's smoking the black stuff. We're gonna close it together without smothering it. Start slowly blowing to get more smoke. Again, I like the idea of waving it slowly, maybe in circles to get some oxygen going, but make sure you hold it tight enough so you don't lose it. As you can see, you just gotta be patient. Just keep waving it. It's smoking pretty good right now. That's what we wanna see. Now I can start shaking it more. <coughs> smoking even more. Now we can go like crazy and boom we got it on fire they go a really cool way to start the fire with the crank drill by the way coconut husk definitely an awesome way to start the fire with I always order some to put it into my fire kit because it's burned so well and easy to light it up Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below about this idea. Hand crank drill. This one is really really old. At least like 60-70 years old. These things are awesome because they don't go bad. You don't need any electricity. So if you working off grid somewhere in the forest, building something, you can also use it to start a fire bit. Pretty amazing, huh? And of course, don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.